Artemis underscore Dre, don't you fucking leave. Uh-uh, you don't get to leave anymore. You're stuck here until I finish the Archon quest. Then you can leave. <laughs> then you can leave. Do you understand me, Utter Artemis underscore Dre? Good. Good. Hi. Hi. You want to say hi? Chat, say hi to Marcy. All right. Have you done anything? No. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> okay, so... What confuses me, okay, what confuses me on your account, right, is that when I go in here, I can see a level 750 character that is better than a level 80 character. What is going on there, and why? Is it by friendship level? Because that makes no sense, and it pisses me off. What is this? Look at this. You're all hey from her star. What the fuck is a star? There's a star? Since when? Nah, Mika don't deserve it. Mika is not a favorite. He doesn't deserve it. <laughs> he doesn't deserve it. <laughs> Mika does not deserve to be a favorite. Okay, um... Uh... Oh god. I'm only starring Farnuzan and Kazuma so that I can track them. 
but I need to find dirt berries for Faruzan, but first... I'm sure you're at your weekly limit, Lamal. <laughs> okay, okay, uh... Um, okay, 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 okay. Oh, okay. First things first, we're gonna go collect some ley lines to get Kaya to 90, Faruzan. Dying finally. All right, Kaya's maxed out. Cool. Azuba is our next one, and then Fadozan. I want to ascend. Why is my ping? What is ping? Shine down, torn to oblivion. I can't even tell what's happening anymore. Can you stop attacking me, you absolute fucking whore? Stop it. Stop it. Stop. What the fuck? Hello? 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 Knock, knock, bitch. All right, you know, you don't. All right, fuck off. Oh, she's a hoe.
does it only a newbie need the what? Yes, but 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 they're there, so why not collect them? Because another character will need them eventually. <laughs> I'm just collecting them, honestly. Yeah, at this time, I think it's just- Oh, no, uh, Shevros needs them. If I recall correctly. I was just playing Wuthering Ways for the last hour, and, uh, I kind of forgot that you can't alternate between mouse and, uh, controller anymore. I'm sad. Hi, Fartface. Thank you for the dailies. How are you doing, sweetheart? It's an Lenny, you're really starting to piss me the fuck off. <laughs> Why aren't they hitting? Thank you for permitting. Yeah, well, the thing is, like, I genuinely like. I like the way that Wuwa does it, that you can just switch automatically between. Um. This better be important. Between the controller and the keyboard really easily and it just makes the game a lot more fun because then I can just like if I need to you know like I just switch it it's there you know it's, it's so much more easier it's so much more educating I really like that I did. Wait, oh my god, I know why. You favorited them. That's why they're out of order. Okay, that makes so much more sense now. <laughs> Alright, Cosmo 64, what are your talents? His talents are okay. His artifacts suck. Oh. I am disgusted right now. 
Artemis, you you have you have upset me. I don't care if they're temporary. They should not have any three star artifacts so I can use it for fodder. It must be fed to the art other artifacts. <laughs> Pain and misery. Dia isn't worth building at all. She's terrible. I tried to build it and she screamed. God fucking damn it, Artie. Stop putting three star and four star artifacts on characters. Three. Anything below a three, a four, is useless in this world. That's fine. Check now. All right, much better. It's not bad, but it's not good either. Good. It went into oh, oh. This actually might be much. What do I have? Oh yeah, this is this 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 one. This this one is so much better for him. It went into the crane room. Let's fucking go. Okay, but, 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 but so much better. So much better. Yes. Okay, that is so much better. That, oh, that is fantastic. He does actual damage now. 
Okay, so we're still gonna want more crit damage. But he's doing much better now. I'm very happy with that. Honestly, your Shang Ling is pretty good. She doesn't need anything. Yo, what's up, Dito? How's it doing? How's it doing? Thank you for the daily, sweetheart. Hope you're having a good day. Please let me know if the volume is too loud either. Yeah. Just been really busy with work these last few days, so I haven't been able to stream, but... Oh, and consider it my ass. Bitch, I'll fucking kill you. Nah, you're dead. Kazuha. 66. Alright. Also, this weapon is decent on him, but you definitely want to try for some energy recharge. It's It matches him, but you want energy recharge on Kazuha. Um, he, he really needs that. So, also, why haven't you? This is literally the best sword for the Traveler. Oh, you haven't done any of that, have you? Oh, okay. This sword is kind of useless. A lot of these three stars you have are pretty useless. <gasps> Ari, you didn't. Ari, how fucking dare you? You didn't. You, you got rid of the one sword that... I'm so disappointed in you, Ari. I love how I'm using Scarvish on a team that he does not belong on at all. Oh, he's not 69. That's fu the ha ha funny number. Okay, uh, let's go and heal and then probably not intentional. Get Chin should auto lock the rare three stars. Nobody's had the three stars since that three star was like a leeway thing, so yeah. Um I I'm teasing you. Also, Dito, thank you so much for the lurky sweetheart. I hope you have a good lurk. Uh the three stars that they had that three star. It's like this one. I don't know if you ever got it. That's the other thing. Like, there is a possibility that you never got it. Uh, I don't know how to check, to be honest. That's the thing. So. Check 
kind of sick of Fontaine's stuff. Bring me back to Monset, please. My apologies. This heavy rain must be quite an inconvenience for you. I'm sorry, Nubelet. I love how he apologizes when it rains like this. Because it's his fault. Because <laughs> he's so steep. Oh, yeah. It is, yeah. Okay, then. I'm surprised you knew about that. Yes, max him out. All right, level 70 is great. Um, if I recall correctly, there's like six of them right here in Aru Village. You've already gotten somehow. Really? Have you seriously not gotten these boxes down here? <laughs> Artie. Temple of Silence already shows up on the map. You don't need a marker for that. <laughs> you absolute goofball. Where are the berries? I'm actually about to literally commit a crime. Where are my fucking berries? I'm gonna kill something. I'm gonna kill something in game just for these fucking berries. I am about to lose my mind if I can't find. Need to come back and explore. No, you don't. That place is cursed. I hate it there. Where are the berries? Oh my god, I found a berry chat. I found a fucking berry. Holy shit. What 
He's sleeping peacefully. I'm gonna fucking kill you. Anyways. Oh. I haven't been to a withering cell in quite some time. It's been so long since I've like actively been in a withering zone. Take it and have fun. Can I? Is that enough for her? How many more? I'm, I'm, I'm actively going to harm a fucking life thing in this game if I can't find another fairy in the next five fucking minutes. I do not give a shit. I want my baddies! Leave me alone! Swan Fury. Not a single fucking berry. It's existence! Somehow, looking for this berry is worse than farming for Sino's beetles, and that was hell. You know what? Nope. 
I'm not looking anymore. I'm gonna go to someone else's world and then just spawn camp that one fucking section. Slay. I'm here to farm. I'm here to farm. Oh god, not this quest. There's no need to exchange pleasantries. It's rather pathetic to force a conversation. Oh, okay. You um... have to occupy silence. This is one. If that's not one. Okay, okay, okay. Quit following me. Pretty sure. Two. That's this is three. Wait, I think, hang on. No, it's this, this is four. I forgot, this thing pained me so much. Too slow. <laughs> Let's try it backwards. That's not an option. Eh. Gotta look at this. Like, I feel like. Yeah. So. Oh. Okay. That. This is. This is two. This one has to be four. Five here. If this don't work, I'm gonna write. Hi, Isai.
woke up from a nap at 10 p.m. Go back to bed, you goof. We are about to go to the desert. I need to eat dinner so I cannot return to sleep. Oof. What's for dinner? Fury. I have what I need for photos on. See what's in the fridge? Mood. I'm helping Artie fix their account. It's atrociously terrifying. It's horrible. I honestly do not want to farm those bridges again. You have 10 wishes? Artie, can I do a 10 pull on Yelan banner, or are you saving for someone? Do you want someone else, though? Because you have two days, so like... Eh, you know what? I'll let you... I think you should wait for some of the other banners, in my opinion. Yelan's not, uh... Oh, Asa, I just see, you know, there's someone's fucking fragile resin they have. Beating <laughs> them. Yeah, I'll probably do it on some of the Natland banners. I don't know if I want to myself. Um, that being said, I'm gonna do this daily commission. Rain, you should totally just do my account up. Do you have, is it North America or Europe? I can do it. I would love to for content if you would let me play it on stream. Um, I could do it. It's just that I might have significant lag. But, yeah, I can do it. Uh, yeah. Like I said, I genuinely love helping other people fix their accounts, and it makes for good content. I have nothing better to do on my own account. When I tell you my own account is pretty much done, it's pretty much done. Like, I have 1,145 out of 1,200-something achievements. All of them being daily commission achievements. Um, all of my characters are decently well built, etc. So I don't mind at all. Um, you would have to entrust me with your login information, though. That's about it. And then I would fix your account. <laughs> Okay. Oh my god, you have a hotel. Nah, you're fine. Alright, time to do the, 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 the Archon quest. Yeah, uh, Asai, do I have your friends in on Discord? If not, message in the, in the, in the Discord server. Um, and... Um, I'll friend request you so we can discuss details. Ah. I can tell it like it is. If 
someone can't handle it, maybe that's their problem. God, I hated this quest and also loved this quest at the same time. Why don't we talk to some of the villagers to learn a little bit more? Hello there. Oh, Can nice. Buy something? I do business in this area. Oh, no, no. We're adventurers. Hebron sent us to look into a commission here in Vermara Village. Ah, so you hear about that then. Ah, you're not the first, that's for sure. We've certainly made a lot of trouble for you all. To be honest, we aren't holding out much hope. Many adventurers have made their way out here, confident they'd be able to help us, only to leave soon after with nothing to show for their efforts. We've pretty much had it up to here in questions. And yeah, no, no, absolutely. I'll um, just, just message in the Discord so I have your friend request done. So that and then we'll do for? the rest another What's time, obviously. Where did he live? Does he have any relatives? Um, I, I don't know. I really have no clue. I couldn't tell you. Okay. Unless you are really sick of answering questions. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to sound short with you. I was actually just giving you my answer to your questions. I think we're out of funded, are we? seem like we don't have anything to offer by what we just don't know the specifics it may, at least that's what everyone in the village seems to think we've all exchanged what all right specifics aside then what kind of person was no you? worries you get food and go rest we can deal with it another time young guy in his early 20s probably incredibly kind sort of person always willing to lend a helping hand I chat with him when I didn't have any customers. I even saw him stick out his neck for others on more than one occasion. <laughs> Very interesting guy, that one. Now that you've started talking about him, you don't seem nearly as down in the dumps as you did before. Seems like he left a pretty good impression on you. But of course, everyone in the village is pretty fond of him. We wouldn't have issued that commission otherwise. Yeah, this quest pissed me off so much. There aren't many young people like him nowadays. So genuine and pure. To think that he just up and disappeared one day. Just hope nothing bad happened. Could he have just moved away without telling anyone? No. He's not the type to leave without saying goodbye. And anyway, moving away without being seen by a single person in the village? There's no way he would have been able to manage that. Huh. All right, thanks for the information. We're gonna go ask around some... Yeah, yeah, so that's because of his cleavage. Da, da, da. Yeah, that's fair. Really as challenging as Cather made it out to be, Honestly, that's to so fair. A very detailed investigation. Uh, I'm going to quickly turn off my air conditioning because it's hot. And uh, I'll let this off quickly. Okay. We're here to help you look for I'm the guy that's gone missing. So that's what brings you to these parts. Coming all this way for our sake. That's so very kind of you. With your help, I trust that young man's case is in good hands. Could you tell us a bit about him? Of course. I'm happy to help any way I can. With my failing eyesight, I'm afraid I can't offer much about his appearance. But I do remember hearing the sound of his voice. Not recently, of course. That loss has left me feeling quite empty. I don't think his parents are still living in the village, but somehow he never seemed lonely. In fact, he was usually the one offering companionship to others. He would often take time to visit the elderly or play with the orphans in the village. And whenever someone had something on their mind, he was there to listen with open ears. He always knew just what to say. As the village chief, I owe him many thanks. Helping villagers navigate difficult moments in their lives should have been one of my responsibilities. But he was often the one rising to the occasion. Wow, he seems like such a nice and gentle person. No wonder his disappearance affected you all so much. But, um... You wouldn't happen to know any details about his name, address, or family situation, right? Oh, I'm a 
ashamed to admit it, but I just can't remember. No matter how you look at it, I should know those things. But for some reason, no matter how hard I try to remember, the information ever. just doesn't Sorry. come. I put Marcy in baby Perhaps too. my age really has caught up with me this time. Oh my god, you got Ryo. Did you get them? Is the question? Because I have both of them myself. I like them both a lot. I got lucky with a C1 Nouvellet and his weapon. Wild Traveler, what do you think? I don't think so, too. Like, amazing. And nobody has been able to tell us anything about his nice. family or where he lives? Like this guy's been erased from reality or something. <laughs> Wait, so you're saying... Okay, Paimon's gonna need some time to pro... You two are the adventurers who just arrived, right? You're here for the Zomara Village Commission? Which is honestly horrible to play, yep. but keep... Dora, oh. We were just looking into the case. Did you get their weapons? I'm so glad to hear that. Thank goodness you haven't given up. I've been so worried the Adventurers Guild might cancel our commission. My name is Atosa, by the way. I grew up here in Zomara Village. Anyway, I... Yeah, no need to worry. We'll give it our best... That's fair. Lost Prayer is pretty good on uh, Nubalette, so if you have that. Otherwise, there's a bunch of different other craftable weapons that are great, four star wise. Quit following me. Mm. This the place? Under this tree? Yep. I know it doesn't look like much, but this place is very meaningful to me. It's so full of memories. We used to always sit together under this tree and talk. Sometimes we would look up at the clouds in the sky or stop to feel the wind against our skin. We could sit there for hours at a time. As someone who knows too well about Genshin, I'll be born. I have nothing on either. I was actually adopted by the people of Vamar. Skyward Atlas on Ryo the and Forest Rangers found me in the woods as a child. I'm gonna be honest. Weapons don't make your character good. Yes, they are decent, but there are so many craftable weapons that are just second best in slot that it's fine. So you can just gather the materials and craft and them. Growing up in the village was so lively. Still... There were times when I couldn't help but feel incredibly alone. Alone? <sighs> uh, how should I put it? When something's bothering you, or when you have good news to share, you always want to talk about it with somebody. But for the longest time, I didn't know who I could talk to, or if I should say anything at all. Everyone has their own problems to deal with. Even if I might want to confide in others, I don't want to become a burden. I'm gonna be spending a bowl of time in the Emblem Marge's domain. Sorry in advance. Honestly, yeah, really? I know. You know exactly how I feel. Aww. Wow. Shut up, Five so on. No one gives a shit. You're quite lucky. When it comes to our missing villager, well, I guess you could say that to me. He felt like both a family member I could rely on and a friend who could really understand me. No matter what came my way, I knew I could always. Oh, I've I've had that before already. He was That's so, so funny. Full and pure, and patient too. Whenever I oh, you have an Alhatham. So interested. As if the things I was describing were just as important to him as they were to me. Ever since he disappeared, I'm glad so Artie. Much I wanted to tell him. No, no, none of those things matters now. I just really want to see him again. Wow, you two must have been really close. Did he ever tell you anything? Hmm. Oh, right. I did ask him. I didn't know whether that meant we had. Hmm. So, uh, look at me. The last time I talked this much, oh, come to think of it, 
every time we climb always passed by really slowly well time always seems to pass slower when you're relaxed right uh what's wrong trapper one thing my account missing is Kazuha, but whatever. He's getting a rerun soon. Um, you probably have a lot of stuff. Hey, look at those horse trails over there. monsters to show up it was no trouble hmm now that i think they seem agitated and would often attack anything in sight chief amadea doesn't allow the children to play in the area around the village anymore hmm maybe we as well we should head back and check out the situation in bamara village you got an achievement and i don't know what for so I've spoken about the night that he got right in Hu Chao Chong Li Lan, Rebel New V got and I'm probably missing a few. Ah, it's you two. Oh, a friend of yours? Well, I'll leave you all to it then. I should head back to the village and check up on Chief Amadea and the others anyway. Oh, see you later. Yep, see you later, Atosa. nowhere like that is it your life's mission to jump scare us or something it's hardly personal or intentional for that matter as long as you and i are both in pursuit of the abyss order we're bound to cross paths ah so you're here to investigate the abyss order then that would explain the monsters okay yeah right that's now. fair hey sorry um one thing that always pisses me off is that d luke and dan's Love's models have not been updated since 1.0 and they both suck and look terrible like, Danzel is literally a copy and paste of, what's his name? D. Luke, pretty much. Like, if you look at his face, they look exactly oh, the same. Are you not here for the same purpose? Hmm. No matter. It may have taken you a while to catch on, so but I don't have sure anything built very well. Yeah, it. I can help you with your, um... Strange about this place. Your uh, I need to know, though. Are they leveled, and are their talents the done? Because I... <laughs> I fucking Worse. hate grinding that shit. Your plan could already be in motion. So you think the Abyss Order is behind the hilly trail activity in the area? As things stand, I highly doubt that is their primary motive. I would imagine the increased hilly trail activity is merely a byproduct of whatever it is they're really trying to accomplish. Still, the hilly trail activity is causing a lot of problems for the people here. We should stick around for a while and protect the village, don't you think? The best way to protect them is by figuring out what the Abyss Order is truly planning. That, and you shall have them. Don't worry. Ah, so that was the commission that brought you here to Bumara Village. Someone who seems to only exist in people's memories. That is indeed quite intriguing. Are they level 90 question mark for Ryo, Duby, and Kosumi? However, any possible connection to the Abyss Order is still unclear. That's fine. I just wanted to get a, 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 like, a, like, a, like a general 
crash up what I have to do. It appears all we have by way of clues is... Wait! That mysterious voice she heard in her breath. Hmm. Traveler, let me ask you this. Do you believe your sibling to have betrayed you? I'm gonna wait till the ads are over. You've got no ads? Dang. Well, I'm gonna wait. But, um... <clears throat> Unfortunately, Vi will be my focus along with Movie. Uh, I'm still a sucker, and they aren't built or leveled much. That's fine. Um... Artie. This is a question for you. Do you really think that our sibling betrayed us? Oh yeah, they betrayed my mind. Ooh, nice. I gotta wait because this is Artie's account and I kinda wanna know what they say about this. I'm curious. Answer please. I want to have a fifth of days that they did betray was not fully. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I sense hesitation in your words. After all, you still haven't figured out the whole truth of what happened. Yes, Dane's left, because you haven't fucking told us. You could just tell us. Instead, you're just like, hmm, let me show up once a year and just fuck around and find out and then leave. You Bitch. You seem hope for the two of you to reconcile. Irreparable damage has not yet been done. The sinner you wish That's to know bad. about. His situation is different. He and his fellow sinners have long betrayed me. And long betrayed their nation. His name is Bedefon. The visionary. I'm loath to admit it, but... He is also my king. My older brother. Your brother? There were five of them, the five sinners of Kanu. The wise, Robtata. The visionary, Vedafon. Gold, Rhinedaughter. The foul, Sertaloti. And Rekir Sonari. It's Rekir. fine, Artie, that they're both the same thing. So, first of all, Rhinedaughter was the one who made um, Albedo, right? And Albedo's brother, uh, what's his name? Um, Dur Durin, which is interesting. Um, Alhatham with... Yeah, yeah. Alhatham probably needs more crit rate, actually, than crit damage, in my opinion, if you have his luck. No matter how eroded my memory may become, I will never forget their names. One day. I shall have my vengeance. Yes. Wait, some of those names sound really familiar. Rhinedaughter is the one who created Albedo. Sertaloji is Sukuk's master. And the one we just learned about, Dane's brother, Vedafolnir. If he was the voice of the sinner, then the one who inspired Flotar to create the Abyss Order was him. Your child 6150. But we're the she has the most damage on everyone. Interesting. I mean, Vaporize is a really powerful reaction, though. If 
that's true, but the sub states that. Oh, shit. I actually didn't pay attention to the rules. They were once but... people of great esteem in Kanye. Those who carried the hopes of the nation. Honestly, the details are fuzzy. I don't remember. Fears, You're fine, Asa. I'll just get on and take a look next time. Yes, go eat. The Vinster King from continuing to rock the foundation of the world. Yet, deep within, the five of them craved something more. They could not resist the call of the abyss and divided among themselves a power that could destroy the world. So they became seeds. Yeah, of course. But also transcendent beings. Each in possession of world-shattering power. Yeah, I will thank you. When the cataclysm occurred, not one of them stood up in defense of their nation. Not one came forward to prevent the tragedy. And for that, they shall never have my forgiveness. Indeed, if they are not stopped, the day is sure to come when they will also betray the entire world. Both of these are like the same sentence. Of course. So, hey, what have you been- I've continued to investigate the questions surrounding the Loom of Fate. It's been quite some time since the initial operation was launched. By retrieving the eye of the first field tiller, we were able to stop part of their plan from coming to fruition. Oh, I might remember. Weren't they going to use it to corrupt Josiah and make a god or something? Indeed. However, it's obvious that was just some sort of technical experiment. The eye was integral to their plan. Yet somehow, despite failing to obtain it, they've skipped the experimental phase and found some other way to keep moving forward. There are many signs pointing to that effect. Then what should we do? It's not too late, is it? Our most pressing concern is to determine the purpose of the Loom of Fate. From there, We'll be able to deduce the Abyss Order's true objective. Based on the intel I've gathered so far, I suspect the Loom of Fate is related to the Ley Lines in some way. I never really understood this part. It made no sense. Traveler, you were able to observe your siblings' memories last time, yes? I believe that was due to the fact that the Ley Lines in that area were unstable. My recent investigation has shown that Abyss Order activity in a particular area is usually followed by a series of issues with the Ley Lines. Wait, then our commission here in Bermuda... It's certainly possible. I'll join your investigation tomorrow. This missing persons case could very well turn out to be the key to unraveling these mysteries. Well, if we're teaming up with Dane again, we're gonna need all the energy we can get. Let's try and Shut up, Paimon. I don't want to hear your voice. You piss me off. Thank you, Scaramouche. person from your commission. Could you describe them to me? Oh, young guy? Early 20s? Seriously, Dane, what's going on? There appear to be certain memories in my mind that weren't there before. Memories of him. But maybe, maybe we just talked too much about him yesterday and you had a weird dream or something? Oh, right. This part. If it wasn't, they're memories. No 
memories that suddenly appeared in my mind after I woke up. And I'm certain I've never met this person before. I remember handing him the eye of the first field tiller. So this missing person definitely has something to do with the Abyss Order, then! Indeed. And it appears he possesses the ability to... implant memories into the minds of others. Wait, then. All the memories the villagers have of him... Could they be fake, too? Maybe they never knew him at all. But why would he do something like that? Whatever the Abyss Order is planning, an important truth has been revealed to us this morning. What sort of truth? That their goal is still to obtain the eye of the first field tiller. They haven't stopped searching for him. I am the only person who knows his location. Perhaps your concerns are not entirely unfounded. I don't believe the Abyss Order is capable of altering reality like that just yet. However, considering their single-minded pursuit of the eye, I would see an equal level of caution is in order on our part. The one thing that confuses me though, why didn't he just destroy it? Just get rid of it. Blow it up. I mean, I'm sure it's blow upable. Everything burns eventually. Come with me. We must check whether the eye is still in our possession. Oh, so you're going to take us to where you hit it? Also, I'm pretty sure the quest is almost over. Like, there's like maybe two or three more scenes after this, and that's it. So you hit it way out here? Well, let's go check to see if it's safe. Traveler, wait. No time to lose. Let's head inside. Hey, wait up! I don't know why I still have Zhongling on the team. She's great, but she's not. I need a healer. Access the upper floor through the side door. Perhaps you should try reactivating the mechanism over there. <laughs> Got 
god, this whole quest creeped me out, to be honest. Pissed me off and creeped me out. Make sure all the runes are pointing in the direction indicated by the light. That should unlock the mechanism. Ah, the door is open. Let's go. Our destination is just up ahead. Looks like we can't go any further. Be on your guard. I sense the presence of the Abyss. There we go. God, that was a pain in the ass! Just as I suspected. The false memories were a trap. The Abyss Order just wanted to follow us here. Now that they're in the vicinity, we should have a chance to see. Dane? What's wrong? Can you feel that? There's been a disturbance in the ley lines. It must be the work of the Abyss. Wow, you must be really sensitive to that sort of thing. Vimon doesn't feel it. You two, do as I say. Use that mechanism over there and leave this place. The Abyss Order is putting something in motion. If you return to Vimara Village, just think of it as a way to divide... Artie, are you here? Artie, this is like the most important part of this story quest.
going along with your trap would be the only way to meet with you face to face. Look at Look at him! Look at him! It's him! Hello, fart face. How are you? I have arrived. You risked your safety and that of the eye. <laughs> My husband! Yes! He has white on all of his, like, stuff. That's quite the gamble, Dainsleth. But I believe that I am the one walking into a trap laid by the Twilight Sword. So you came here all on your own? What about those followers of yours? When the Twilight Sword is prepared for battle, any army I could send would only be marching to their doom. Better that I face you alone. I know you must have a lot to say. But if it's a conversation you want, you'll have to defeat me first. His sword is so cool. I wish he had that in game. No. That's Dainsleaf. He's. I don't like him. This is VR. Alright, cool. The abyss order's on the move. The ley lines are all out of whack. We better hurry back to Bamara Village and see what's going on. Hey, look at those hilly trails over there. Weren't they acting super agitated just a little while ago? Why are they so calm all of a sudden? <laughs> They're not 12. The siblings are both, like, over 500 years old. In the new world, they bade farewell to the Shrouded Sun. At last, they no longer needed to dwell on their suffering. The trot such was the price they paid, and thus, their souls became cleansed and pure. One second, chat. Keywords that they look. Oh, I know. Uh, yeah. That's just the models uh, of, like, most gacha games. What was that? It sounded so... Oh, this is weird. <laughs> Looks like the same thing is happening over here, too. The Hilly Churl... You see, we're both still here. We've reclaimed an endless amount of time to love. Release your tears. You no longer need to hold back your sorrow. Over there, it looks like they're sleeping. Let's kill them. <laughs> In the end, he whispered softly, Sleep well, father. Sleep well. My beloved people, when you awake, that which differentiates us shall be no more. It almost sounds like a poem or some kind of this story. This way, the youthful looks of adult characters. Well, I mean, yeah, that's their down, design the choice. Most Japanese gacha games have younger looking characters. Let's put the situation to the side for now. Dane said this might be our chance to find them. What's up, old man? Grandpa Amadea, is everyone alright? The 
abyss order seems to be up to the abyss order uh, thank you for your concern but as far as i'm aware it's been business as usual here in the village well that's good to hear oh also you didn't happen to come across any clues about the missing villager while we were gone did you hmm? someone's gone missing you say who would that be huh Ah, I do apologize, you two. I hope I'm not worrying you too much. I'm sure it's just my age making me forgetful again. At least right now, I can't seem to recall whatever it is you're referring to. Perhaps you should try asking someone else. about the missing village. What do you think, Traveler? Could everyone's memories of the missing villager have been a real right? Yes, Fox? Someone's gone missing? Who? Uh, just as expected. Um, that guy you said a bunch of nice things about earlier? The one you, he's around 20 years old? Oh, I know who he Really? There aren't many young people who've earned that kind of praise from me. If you're certain that's yes. what he said. Yes, yes, yes. It's dinner then time. Then there's only one person who fits the bill. No doubt about it. But, yeah, I just saw him leave the village. There was someone... to remember him and apparently he just saw him do you think maybe it's not that there's something wrong with just like what happened with greater lord luca Devata, no one remembers him because there's been a change in people's memories If we really did travel back to a time before he disappeared, that could explain why the villagers said he hadn't gone missing. If this person only exists... In right! Paimon yep, totally forgot the about the Leyline disturbances! We're in someone just like how you entered your... That would also explain why we seem to be at a time before he went missing. Right. If he's someone who only... But didn't Baron just say that he... Who knows how long this Leyline disturbance... Good idea! We pretty much figured out that the missing villager has the ability to... Right! That! Like, does it maybe leave a... The time he's allowed to pass is in the false memories. There's a higher chance they might conflict with someone's original recollection. <coughs> that... No wonder! All this time and the sky hasn't changed a bit! That's the tell of the fake memories! The implanted memories are basically... If the memories included the regular passage of time, like there could be overlap or something. People might start to wonder why they remember... That's why he makes sure the memory... The color of the sky... The Tosa! Oh, right! That's... Oh, come to think of it. Every time we talked, it always seemed to be around dusk. Just like right now. Time always passed by really slowly. Even when it felt like we'd been talking for hours, the sun would still be at the same position in the sky. Yep, that has to be it. This is definitely Atosa's memory. Mm, nice. Uh, hang on, I gotta adjust this up. Hmm. That should work, okay. Yeah, that's where they'll be. <sighs> Dad. 
There he is! Alright, chat. I can't take a photo! Bullshit. So, you see, Granny Jahiet was a mercenary when she was younger. She just talks like that out of habit. She's not trying to scare the children on purpose. <laughs> oh, there I go again. Always talking about my own things. Do you, maybe, have anything you want to share? Um, it's okay if you don't. You, you could also just talk about what you think of me? Oh, I, uh, I, I think you're an incredibly strong and thoughtful young woman. I'm many, so many mad that, that they made his design so life. fucking pretty and then just was like, and one time. your friends over there all oh, right this version of Atosa hasn't met us yet friends I guess you could say that it must have taken them a lot of effort to find me so I should see what they need I'm sorry, Atosa. We'll have to continue this conversation another time. Another time, huh? Um, yeah, okay. I'll head back to the village then. Talk to you some other time. It's nice to see you, Traveler. I believe this is the first time we've met. How are you, Bear? Born into abject. Your. Kari Bear Alberic. Oh. You know me? That's quite the surprise. I don't believe I've met you before. Oh, I see. It was the memory, wasn't it? Your sibling's memory. You saw... the me from back then. This is Atosa's memory. I came here to say goodbye to her. But I suppose I'll just leave her a message instead. They do. They really oh. fucking do. I don't know how to translate this, but somebody did, and you could probably just look up the translation, but yeah. It means something. I'm so mad that this is a one-off world, too, because it's so fucking pretty. Chat, chat, chat. I can. I'm a princess. I'm a pretty princess. I'm gonna run to the end of the world. to keep going. Oh, there's the wall. I was about to say. I don't think I've explored the entirety of this place, so I'm gonna take my time.
It's just so pretty. question is, if there's no stamina and no jumping, I can! Edged. I cannot climb the tree yet. Ah, uh, get up on this island. I thought I wouldn't be able to. Without triggering the cutscene, I mean. Poor cargo. I'm approaching from the opposite direction. Look at look at him. Look how he turns to face us. And look at how we're looking at him. I suppose you could call it the realm of my consciousness. I'm someone who no longer exists in the real world after all. As you well know. Uh, it's nothing. I still have enough strength to play the part of a good host. I always hoped that I'd get the chance to talk to you like this. And now, the time has finally arrived. Uh, what exactly happened to you or Loom of Fate, Artie? Extreme sorrow and pain. Hope and regret coursing through your veins. And a degree of abyssal power that defies comprehension. Father told me that once I possessed all those elements, I would become the loom of fate. But despite his intentions for me, I never truly became the loom of fate. I was merely used as a means for its construction. In truth, I died the moment I set everything in motion. The person you see before you now is nothing but a remnant of consciousness left over within the loom of fate. As for your question, the loom of fate is a device capable of weaving ley lines. In its primitive form, it can only be used to create and implant memories. But, as more of it is completed, its power becomes stronger and stronger, until finally, it has the power to weave real ley lines of its own. Once fully completed, the moment it gains the power to weave ley lines, it loses the lower level ability to influence memories. But it also becomes a tool that can change the entire world. Yes. I have the ability to control the loom in its semi-completed form. I suppose you can think of it as a form of compensation. After all, its existence cost me my life. Ah, that. I was wrong to implant those memories. I'm sorry I caused so much trouble. Not only for everyone in the village, but for you as well. I just... wanted them to feel like I once existed in this world. 
As if... I had a chance at life. Yes, but also, like... He never had a life. He died as a child. <laughs> I know what you must be thinking. Why would I do something so meaningless? <sighs> but I just... I just couldn't accept it. I had to know what it would be like if I had my own life. What kind of person I would be. What other people would think of me. Chief Amadea, Baram, Granny Jahiat, Atosa. What would it be like if I could live alongside them? No cataclysm, no curse. Just a quiet life in a peaceful village. I was curious, so I selfishly tried to have my own life. Even if... Even if that meant piecing together the version of myself that could have been one memory at a time. I know it sounds stupid. <laughs> After all, my life ended a long time ago. I feel so bad for him, but also like, fuck you. <laughs> Any chance at living was stripped away from me when I was eight years old. My consciousness left to mature in an illusory world of nothingness. Even the form you see before you is nothing but an invention based on my father's appearance. An imagined version of what I would look like if I had the chance to grow up. I do too. It's not as fun as that like that. Yeah. I know. But there's nothing I can do to make them find me. If I could exist in the real world, I would return without a second thought and surprise them with the suddenness of it all. Ugh. I know. Captain Dainsliff. Twilight Sword, you mean? Uh, no need to meet up with him. Things should already be settled on his end. Exactly. As someone who could only exist in people's memories, the fact that I'm able to talk to you in my consciousness like this can only mean one thing. The loom of fate has already been completed. What? <laughs> yeah. No need to worry about Captain Dainsleff. He's absolutely fine. The only reason he lost the eye was because I happened to guess exactly what he was planning. Captain Dainsliff has had the eye inside his body this whole time, hasn't he? His plan was to lure the Abyss Order to a false location, capitalizing on their pursuit of the eye in order to have the chance to confront the Prince. He would then hand the eye to you and tell you to take it away from that location. That way, Captain Dainsliff could accomplish his own goal and ensure the safety of the eye all at once. That's right, because in his mind, he had given it to you already. Before you two entered that false location. Yeah. Traveler, wait. Hmm? Uh. Yeah. <laughs> no time to lose. Let's head inside. Dane thinks he put gave you the tiller when he never did, so yeah, that's kind of how That was when I implanted the memory of him handing you the eye. Given the tense situation at that time, Captain Dainsliff failed to notice anything out of the ordinary and took that memory to be real. I'm sorry, Traveler, but I needed the loom of fate to be completed. And to do that, we had to retrieve the eye. Which is why you are a fucking asshole, and I hate you. But I feel bad for you, but I hate you. I promise I'm not trying to conceal anything from you. But I truly have no idea what the prince is planning. 
Tavat's ley line system is deeply entrenched in the planet. Creating new ley lines can neither replace nor extend the ones that already exist. In the face of everything they could be planning, I fear I'm too insignificant to even get a glimpse of the bigger picture. In any case, I had my own use for the loom of fate, and my goal... I'm oh, he absolutely is, Artie. He absolutely achieved. is. You remember my father, don't you? Otar Alberic. I believe you saw him in your sibling's memory, after he used the power of the Abyss to restore consciousness to my Hiwichiro form. I suffered from an indescribable level of mental anguish. To comfort me, my father told me a story, that this was a fairy tale world where I had to take on the form of a little monster. That story managed to dispel my fears, even if just for a moment. My goal was simple, to use the loom of fate in its near-completed form, when its ability to create memories was at its strongest, to implant a specific memory into the minds of the Hillichurls. In that memory, I would tell them a story, just like my father did for me. It was a story of fairy tales and love. More than anything, it was the story of us. He just wanted the hilly trolls, the children that were turned into hilly trolls, to at least have like a life, you know? He wanted to offer them some peace. I can't change the world. Not when I lost the very right to exist within it. Implanting those memories, that was the most worthwhile thing I could offer. All that's left of my existence is a wisp of residual consciousness tied to the loom of fate. In truth, that trace of my consciousness should have dissipated long ago. My goal was the one thing that allowed me to hold on all this time. But now, the bedtime story is finished. It's finally time to rest. <sighs> Looks like I was too late to see Kari Bear one last time. Space will soon disappear along with it. Neither of us belongs here. That's why we're not tangible. <laughs> Were that not the case, I'd love to hug you too. Fuck you, Hoyo! Fuck you! Uh, well, how about a conversation? The one thing we all wanted was for them to fucking hug. And no, they're not tangible, bitch! What the fuck? <laughs> the chance to just stop and talk like this is certainly not easy to come by. Wouldn't you agree? That battle earlier was tough. The one against Dane. I mean, I didn't expect that after everything, 
he would still hesitate to raise his sword against me. Were it not for that, perhaps I'd still be no match for the Twilight Sword. Even after 500 years. Aether, you know, over 500 years old, come canonically confirmed? The Loom of Fate, huh? I still haven't found a way to utilize it to its full potential. But there's still time. Before the heavenly principles awaken. Yes. For 500 years now, ever since the cataclysm in Conria, there's been no sign of activity. Not long ago, you witnessed the Hydro Archon destroy her divine throne. Yes. Such a flagrant disregard for the rules. And still Celestia took no action. I suppose that's proof enough of the Heavenly Principles situation. However, the Heavenly Principles will awaken. We just don't know when that will be. Or what might trigger it. Really hate the Heavenly Principles, don't you? You could say that. Just look at Kari Bear. He was so pure and single-minded. The space we now find ourselves is a perfect representation of who he was. Quiet and peaceful. Even as a hilly churl, seeing the terrible sight within the mirror wasn't enough to taint his spirit. He brought comfort to the people of this world. Even though he was denied the very right to be a part of it. So ask yourself this. Who was it that deprived him of that right to exist? Of course, that's only one example. My feelings about the heavenly principles are too complicated to explain in just a few words. Lumain? He said the thing! He said the thing! Artie! He said the thing! Artie! Artie! He said the thing! <laughs> Call her for me! No! Oh! journey together you bitch at the end of my journey I arrived at a place known as the sea of flowers at the end do you remember a long time ago when we traveled between worlds together you told me you wanted to find a place in the universe where that one flower was in full bloom to have a place like that suddenly appear before me? Well, would you think of that as a coincidence? You mean? I miss you too, Lumine. But as this war continues to rage, and as I continue to seek that final answer, I don't even know how to face myself sometimes, let alone my own sister. <laughs> What's going on? This space has lost its tether. I doubt it'll be able to exist much longer. In fact, aside from our ability to physically interact with each other, there's something else you should know about this space. With Kari Bear gone, we won't be able to remember anything that happened here. Everything in this space will be wiped from existence, including all memory of our reunion. You're only telling me this now?
<laughs> Every time! And that's it. She doesn't remember meeting her brother. I'm pretty sure he said, I know. They couldn't wake us up. And Dane came by just. He didn't say anything, though. Just make sure that you were all right and left. Kind of seemed like he had a lot on his mind, but hmm. Let's think for a second. We were in that map. He was the missing villager that we've been trying to find, right? And after that, I'm on. It upsets me so much because Can we finally got the meeting, meeting we've been demanding and nobody and they don't remember it. Something good? Huh. It's just that well, the village organized another search, so there we were, searching one according to him. One day around dusk he was passing by this one tree outside the village, and he saw our missing villager. There he was. Sleeping under that tree all by himself. His parents came a little later to wake him up and they all left and together. And forgot it. it yep. Looked like quite a happy family, apparently. And after that, well, we all started to feel like that really is what happened. Oh, and we also remembered his name, Curry Bear. Now, that's not a name you hear every day. Would have been helpful if we remembered it sooner. Well, I hope he's happy wherever he is. Seems like everyone thinks Curry Bear left the village. Paimon mm. wonders how it comes to Paimon didn't see her in the village. Are you sure it has to be me? Oh god, stop. Here's the other thing though. Like, if you ever like were isekai Isaac into this world, the other thing is you'd be a descender, so you'd remember things and also you would like know the entire story. And you'd probably be there from the beginning, which is so funny. Also, if you look up at the tree. There, they stay there forever. <sighs> hey, Atosa, how's it going? Oh, it's you two. I, w I was part of the search party. Honestly, I just... He always seemed to appear... If Kari Bear wants me to forget, I relied on him for a lot of things. <sighs> Shut up. It's not important anymore. Kari Bear is gone, and that's all okay, I can Okay, I'll admit I was dumped, wasn't I? She thought they were dead! Otherwise, why would he just leave like that without saying goodbye? <laughs> you don't need to comfort me. I'll be okay. It's just like Kari Bear said. It's the things we overcome that make life more precious. And, you know, if he has a heart, maybe... Anyway, thanks for all your hard work, you... Well... So, you must get along with each other, the two of you. He took a picture of them and gave it to I, both of them so that they would remember. <laughs> Look! Look at them! <laughs> oh, that's so cute. And that's how it ends. That's how it ends. <laughs> 
Makes me so sad. Fine, I'll follow the Sealy that's right here. And that's the end of the Archon quest. Uh, so we are going to do a tidy bit of grinding. No. And then we will go do more storage of the quests sitting. <laughs> it's a miracle. Take it and have fun. Benoit, fuck you. Let's light it up. <laughs> All right. Glad that we got that out of the way. At the very least. Add Astra. So you have three story quests left, which is Navia. That's Sejuine, and that's, uh, uh, what's his name? Risley, and then, oh, crap. Okay, yeah, let's do this. I cannot help but fear that you...
God damn it. If I recall correctly, it is under here. Bennett is great in your can in, in 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 your combination because his ult gives them overload constantly, so it's really useful. Oh, that's Emile. Oh, okay. one of them tonight after I get off. That would be great. There we go. Fucking bird!
I remember how much I hate the desert. Unnecessary. Take it and have fun. It's been so long since I've done these quests so that I don't remember anything. I just remember how annoyingly unnecessarily fucking long they were.
You even want this? Swarm Fury! Unnecessary. Quit following me. I fucking hated this quest. It was so fucking annoying to do. I remember I did it because I only wanted the oculi, and I couldn't figure out where the last few were. They were all quest locked. It's just so dumb. I fucking hate this! Huh. Was that really a test? Cause that, that kind of pisses me off.
just in the sand, I guess. Eye of the sand, Guardian. Guardian of the sand. There we go. <laughs> they say I'm not intelligent. This one was a cool, but I hated it. Okay.
There we go. That was annoying. I forgot about these stupid things being like completely vulnerable to the wind or whatever. Upon the gale. And like, oh yeah, I could go. Huh. Too slow. Hmm. God fucking damn it. I did it! I don't like 
like I'm putting oh, chemicals in the water that turns the freaking frogs gay. Do you understand that? Turn, turn the, the freaking frogs gay. Yo, what's up, Paige? It's not funny. I'm gonna say it real slow for you. What is up, Paige? Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, Raiders. My name is Raider Falls, and I'm an Age of Pay Storyteller VTuber, and I'm assuming y'all are in ads. If you're not in ads, welcome to the stream. I'm trying to fix a viewer's account today. If you need to raid around, that's totally understandable, but thank you so much for the raid, and it's just to be with your community. If you have time, tell me a little bit about yourself. And, uh, what are you doing? Over here, I'm stupid. Anyways, I uh, hope hopefully. Uh, hi again, Raiders. Make sure to take care of yourself post stream. But thank you so much again for the raid. Welcome in, welcome in. Glad to have you here. Uh, I'm just playing some Genshin Impact and. But thank you so much again for raiding in. Hope you have a great rest of your afternoon. I love story quests where there's just awkward silence. Dead. 
Thank fucking god, that was a pain in the ass. Oh, I forgot about this. Bruh! Let me out, let me out, let me out! Oh, thank fucking god. Yeah, he's dead, Jim. There we go, finally. God, that... Oh yeah, you get uh, a Jet and Ben Ben Avatar from that. There's Golden Summer done. Alright, I think there's like...
Yeah. Let's see what we have left. There's this one in Fontaine. Juice, thank you so much for the follow, sweetheart. How you doing? Hope you're having a good day. Hello, hello. How you doing, sweetheart? I have a quest. Hang on. Where is that? I... Thank you for the pets. Must be this way. There it is. I was right. I big stripped. It's a melazine. Collected that. Hmm. Alright, before we continue, I need to use the restroom, so I'll be right back. All of you behave. Hello, my sweet sweetheart. Ba 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 ba. Okie dokie, I'm back. Oh, I forgot about you. Help, help. Why are you invisible?
Stop being invisible! Yes, unintentionally. Have you really already defeated that boss? Pretty sure, don't think I did. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Another test subject. Suffocate. Ow. That's going to hurt in the morning. Let's light it up. Illusion shattered. <laughs> I don't think I have I, I even had trouble with some of those harder bosses because he has they have like a million HP or some bullshit and it's like ridiculous. Picked the wrong Everybody stand back! The underwater ones are like super easy to beat because they're underwater, but the rest of them suck. So after we beat the shit out of Virgil. If I recall correctly, it's over here. Not the oculi, but that was just a bonus. There is a, uh, a shrine of the Jeps here, and you have a. Uh... Now, two.
Give me your ability. Okay, um, next quest. I forgot what these are for. Yes, Marcy. Darling, I love you, but you need to be quiet now. You have been screaming at me all freaking day. what you wish to find. Hopefully the excitement of opening a treasure chest has at least made it a worthwhile experience. I don't remember how to do it. That whole area is... Yes! That whole area kind of creeps me out, though, so...
Luca. I love world quests that have no dialogue and I'm not reading them. They're boring! Hello, Mr. Shiri. Fun fact, if Nova lets in your party or you use him to swim, you have a swimming pass so that makes you faster. There we go. This is where some of the oculi are just locked, so good thing we are able to get through there. Just plug in my light.
There we go. Hi, Dama. Thanks for the daily, sweetheart. How you doing? Directed by World of Warcraft. Uh, I hear it can be very distracting at times. I'm gonna go grab this because we're here. Oh! Quit following me. <laughs> I just got you another quest already. <laughs> The bird, uh, for the, the steam bird goes missing, and... You gotta find it. Another goddamn spam bot. No, I do not want to buy your user your viewers. I I'm fine with my three or four people in chat at a time, and maybe more. <laughs>
Paralyze a rune greater by attacking its wind force. You haven't done that? Yeah, uh, I could I could do that really fast for you. It's like super easy. So there is a rune greater, I think, in the Thousand Winds Temple, and all you have to do is shoot its eyeball with an arrow. So let me. I buy these. I'm so tired of farming shit. Another one? Holy shit! They are out in droves today. God damn. Get out of my chat, you stupid bots. Let's see. Anything for her at all is the question. Oh, I'm not pulling up banners. I, I will wait until this 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 is over. Oh, what did you say? Oh, I'm old now, so every other phrase escapes my ears. Try calling me Madam Farozan. The wind rises. Shit, I missed! Okay, that isn't it. Was it it? Was... Is this a joke? Is that not a brewing grater? I'm about to lose my mind. I 
is on Disney Heart Chronicle at different ages. The number of people is so obvious. Uh, yeah, I think that she's such a, a a character that people totally forget that she's like several hundred years old. Perhaps we could take a walk by a riverbank. Yeah. Now, Fontaine Reputation Quest. Let's go. I don't think I've actually finished all of Fontaine's Reputation Quests myself. I think I'm missing one, which is Happy Birthday, and I have no fucking clue how to get that one. I'm just gonna keep guessing, I'm very lazy chat. Alright, um, this one's a little annoying and takes a decent amount of time. 
but I'm gonna go ahead and go do this one to finish it up with the melazine, because that one's pretty fun to do. And after this quest, um, I am probably gonna end stream just because it's been three hours and I'm a pr pretty hungry and it's like eight o'clock and, um, yeah, I'll probably continue some of, some of this stuff that's like, you know, There we go. All right, Artie, I have a task for you tonight, if you can. Uh, I need you to farm Garuzan's berries. I hate these things, but get enough to get her to 90, please, if you can. I will... Collect this reputation reward. Um, and then I am going to go farm Kazuo's boss, Magu Kenki, I believe it is. And then... Uh, question for you, Artie. Oh. 
have you been fishing? I noticed you marked a lot of the fishing stuff. Like, have you done any fishing at all? Take it Not right now, plan to accept mainly for trade. Ooh, goody, goody. Okay, so, 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 In Inazuma. Also, uh, every week when you log on, you should be buying these nets from her. Until you get to 100 and then use them 100 times because that is an achievement. But there is a fishing person in Inazuma and they sell a weapon called the Catch. That is the best in slot for Raiden that is free to play. This. So, these only spawn in Inazuma in the nighttime in that one electric area. These you can get anywhere, and these you can get anywhere. Um, the one area, this area? Yeah, is the electrifying fish. This is where you can get them. So... Yeah, that's like super important to look into, because that, that weapon is good for Raiden, and we really, really want your Raiden to be good. be my honor. <laughs> this, just a triple check. This is what Kazuha needs because I have city. Mago Kenki, cool. Fucking hate the Mago Kenki. Bitch ass motherfucker. Let's light it up. Shine down. Extract. Fucking hate that boss so much. You haven't finished Inazuma Electroculi? Oh my god. That hurts my soul.
Also, this guy right here, if you talk to him for like X amount of times, he there's like an achievement. Um No, I needed him. Why are you in the corner? Okay, I have it up. So, with the last remaining, uh, I'm going to craft one more condensed resin, go around to a bunch of different ley lines. six of those. He's now level 80, um, which is really good for us. Us uh, is now. His, uh, his stuff needs work, but. Heavy rain must be quite an inconvenience for you. Down. 
Our next goal is to essentially finish Kazuha and then After Kazuha, we're gonna do Faro's on to level 80 and then we will get them both to level 90. Then I will work on more artifacts. Obviously there are other characters, but having Faru's on and Kazuha good. Kazuha's good on basically almost every team comp. Same with Faru's on, but she's great with Wanderer because what she does is she buffs Animo users. So she'll be fantastic for that. A little obvious. Let the fight be humble. It's a better be important. Much as I love Nivellet, he's really slow and I'd like to move faster, so. Scaramouche on my team. It's a fucking eye of the storm. Which is immune. Because it's an animal elemental. Adventure time. Quit following me. Huh. Huh. Too slow. Nice seventy six. I don't like a pumpkin. Oh, my God, no, that frog game. Do you understand? Oh, no. no. Raiders, welcome in! 
Raid! Cat, dude, thank you so much for the raid. How are you doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I was lurking earlier in your stream. I hope it went well. Raiders, if you don't know who I am, I am Raider Falls, and I am an ancient face storyteller VTuber. And today I am working on fixing a friend's account. Uh, if you guys need to raid and run, that's totally understandable. Uh, thank you so much for the raid. Destiny, thank you for the daily raid drop. Let's Destiny, how are you doing as well? Uh, Captain, yeah, that's awesome to hear. Thank you again for raiding it and trusting with your community. But thank you so much. Welcome in, raiders. How'd the rest of your stream go? Thank you for the dailies. Do I have do I have resin? I do. Oh. Chat, I'm gonna gamba. I'm gonna gamba. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> bro. Not a bar, bro. No. Not a bar, bro. I do. Yes. Eat, eat, eat. Make sure to take care of yourself. That's what matters. Post stream care is super important. And I appreciate you. Sending everyone my way. Thank you so much. Uh, and enjoy your dinner. Hello, Mr. Robot. I got a bar, bro. I got one wish, and I wished on Standard Banner, and I got a bar, bro. You now have a C3 Barbara. I have a C45 Barbara. Fuck <laughs> <Like> it. <laughs> Fuck it, Weeball. ball. I want to get Kazuma done tonight. It's gonna piss me off otherwise. <laughs> I guess I probably should explain a little bit of what I'm doing. So, Artie and I have been pretty close friends for a while. Artie, when did you start playing is the question. I need to know now. I guess you didn't know. You can actually tell when you started playing Genshin Impact by the time you got Amber. You joined on in 2022, two years after I started playing. The game's been out for about four years now. Artie's characters aren't exactly built to actually do damage, so I'm going around the world, upgrading them, leveling them up, and... Everyone's favorite, artifacts. Artifacts are what make the character have abilities and strengths. Lol. So yeah, I'm attempting to help them. They're built to be... <laughs> That's about it. That's so true. They're built to exist. Quit following me. The wind rises. But yeah, Ra uh, thank you so much again for the raid, seriously. It means a lot to me. And raiders, don't get to care of yourself. Excuse you. Two more levels, and then Kazuo's pretty much done. He doesn't have to be level 90, but it's nice to have him at level 90. It just gives you a couple, I think, several, a lot more HP to work with, as well as uh, other things. Um, but with a good artifact set, he'll be fine. I forgot what to put on him. Let me ask him. Okay, hang on.
you. Funnily enough, I farmed ley lines so much that I knew exactly where and what mobs would spawn from each ley line because it doesn't change. At all. There we go. Sweet. Alright, Kazuma's good for now. So, his set is something you probably have nothing of, I'm gonna assume. And if you do, I'll be shocked. Yeah, he doesn't have... So, Kazuma needs all EM. Elemental Mastery. I am going to farm the rest of these Ley Lines, though, just because... Um, for when we do Farazan, we'll just have some extra. Fun fact, I, if you talk to this guy... He gives you a cool steal. Absolutely for free. So if you're in the beginning of the game and have nothing, he's fantastic to talk to. Okay. 
We have one left and then we're done. With this, at the very least. Um. So there is an achievement for collecting um, 800 of these in total. I have that achievement. It took me like four months to do. Because each ley line is 20 resin. But, like, in the end, you're just- you don't have enough resin. So you could, like, pay your way through, but even then, um, you have a limited amount of primos you're allowed to use per day, so... Now. Uh, let's see. Alright. Let's do Fontaine Institute. He thinks that's a good one to do tonight. Um, but before we continue, I am extremely hungry and I'd like to continue streaming. So I'm gonna actually run an ad break uh, while I go grab some food from downstairs, so y'all behave yourselves, and I'll see you guys in, like, two minutes. There's no need to exchange pleasantries. It's rather pathetic to force a conversation just to occupy silence. sharp tongue i just tell it like it is if someone can't handle it maybe that's their problem There's no such thing as pure freedom in this world. Even the wind cannot blow on forever. You think I've got a sharp tongue? 
I just tell it like it is. If someone can't handle it, maybe that's their problem. There's no need to exchange pleasantries. It's rather pathetic to force a conversation just to occupy silence. There's no such thing as pure freedom in this world. Even the wind cannot blow on forever. There's no need to exchange pleasantries. It's rather pathetic to force a conversation just to occupy silence. You think I've got a sharp tongue? I just tell it like it is. If someone can't handle it, maybe that's their problem. There's no such thing as pure freedom in this world. Even the wind cannot blow on forever.
You think I've got a sharp tongue? I just tell it like it is. If someone can't handle it, maybe that's their problem. There's no such thing as pure freedom in this world. Even the wind cannot blow on forever. That took a lot longer than I thought I would. <clears throat> you think I've got a sharp tongue? I just tell it like it is. If someone can't handle it, maybe that's their problem. Um. Right. We're getting really close to finishing most of these quests. I love how Paimon's thing is like see through. There's no such thing as pure freedom in this world. Even the wind cannot blow on forever. Done.
Yes, put me in a dangerous situation as usual. Necessary. Go in! Illusion shattered. A little opium. Nice. I love how in the background our thing is still going. Again. You're dead. That's far enough. Bow your head. There is no escape. Everybody stand back. the help of an elder. This had better be important. All right, let's head over to the Institute. And I think after... <sighs> Too slow. I 
after this, yeah. Uh, we're gonna get a, we're gonna end stream. Thanks for the topples, Artie. And the head pouch. Really don't care. Yeah, this is uh, this is definitely a good stopping point. Um, Thank you guys so much for coming. I had a great time tonight. This is one of my longer streams. We'll probably continue tomorrow with more Genshin. Like I said, I really want to help Artie out. And tomorrow, all the domains are open. So we'll probably go ahead and just farm the fuck out of everything. That being said, let's switch over to the ending and rate out. Hi, Tianu. Thank you for the dailies. Ba, ba, ba. Let's see who to raid, though. Um, <laughs> no, honestly. Yeah, you got them. I'll be live tomorrow, too. Don't worry. Um, Yeah, I've been a bit stressed with work and stuff, but, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's read the Mr. Headache. I really genuinely like him and he's super chill, so, and he's like, some dead like, they like, so, yeah, um, I will see you guys tomorrow, probably around, like, 3 p.m. EST for some more Genshin. Yeah, it'll be. Thanks, Diana, though. All right, thanks so much for coming, guys. It was awesome seeing you all here. Thank you for the raise of the love, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.